I'm now going to test the ocular motor, cochlea and abducens nerves which all control the extraocular muscles and as such are tested together. As part of this we will also test the accommodation reflex. When examining the extraocular muscles you first need to start by looking at the patient's face and observing for any obvious deviation of the eyes. You then ask the patient to follow your finger in the H-shaped pattern. Can you please remove your glasses for me as well? Sure. I'm now lucky to look at the tip of my finger. Follow it with just your eyes. Tell me if you see any double vision anywhere. Yes, I see some double vision. So there are two images, one on the outside and one in the midline. Tell me which one disappears. The outside image. The eye with the palsy is the one responsible for the outside image in Diplopia. Keep looking at my finger. When you're back in the midline, you can then do the accommodation reflex. Keep staring at my finger, I'm going to move it closer to your face. And I can see that both eyes are converging and both pupils are constricting, which is the normal response. Whilst doing the H pattern, you also want to observe for nystagmus, which can be due to cerebellum or vestibular cochlear pathology, and also ensure that the eye is following your finger smoothly and that there aren't any problems with smooth visual pursuit. Next, we're going to assess vertical gaze. Please keep your head still and look up at my fingers. You hold this for 20 seconds, looking for any fatigue and ptosis due to myasthenia gravis. Also, if the patient is unable to perform vertical gaze, this can be a sign of a supranuclear palsy. You then move your hand down, looking for any lid lamp of thyroid eye disease. Please follow my finger down. Which is fine in this patient. Lastly, we look for circadian movements. Please look at this finger, and then to the other one, and back again, and quickly keep changing between fingers. If there are any problems with circadian movements, the patient's eyes will overshoot and they will have to adjust back to the finger they're trying to focus on.